So now that we're done with the Crown Vic, how much did it cost? Well, I'm fixing to tell you. First of all, I'm not going to tell you that the price of this car, it was the cheapest one in the U. I get tired of hearing that crap just as much as all of you do. Was this the cheapest one? Probably not. I know it wasn't. Uh, but, you know, all typical YouTube BS aside, I bought a wrecked car. I gave $500 for it. it wrecked, drove onto the trailer. It's worth five. So, you know, took it, washed it off, and then evaluated it as I did in the other video. So that was 500 bucks. Not bad. So, price of the car aside, once we got it home, we realized that. It was gonna need a lot of work and uh, we searched and searched and searched for parts now if this is where I got lucky y'all may not be this lucky you might find a guy that was uh, stripping out a couple of them well he would bought two of them and uh, one he'd restored for somebody you know for like a security or something like that or a parade car and the other one he cut it up because he needed the front suspension for a, like a 48 Ford he was working on or so it was pretty cool. So he had all these parts, he'd carefully taken them apart and I got the seats, fender, header panel with lights and turn indicators um, and uh, oh, hubcaps. Seems to me there should be something. Oh, bumper, bumper supports and everything from the frame forward. $300. Now, if you're going to go buy all those at a regular junkyard and all that, you can expect to spend between five and seven, especially if you buy them brand new. Uh, but got lucky, so I had $300 in that. Plus the gas to get down there, and that was probably another, with the pickup truck, $60, $70 at the time. So we uh, were just north of Oklahoma City down there in Coil. It was a two hour drive. So between that, you know, we had about 350 bucks in, in everything. So, uh, those were the parts. Now, I did buy some parts uh, here locally. Uh, sorry about the bumpiness of the video. We're in the car now. Uh, I did buy some parts locally, and uh, I spent probably about $35. I ended up buying three different uh, turn lenses. Uh, I bought one that was kind of cracked, but it was the only one I could find. Police car lenses and civilian car lenses are completely different. They have a different design. So I ended up finding, actually finding a pair of police car lenses at LKQ and uh, that worked out. I had to buy that. I did have to buy a new battery. Uh, the battery now the battery I bought a cheap battery that was about 50 bucks and I had a core so that worked out there <laughs> well the one thing that we haven't talked about is tires. Uh, I did put tires on this. Now they were used and they were takeoffs of my from my other car. But I had bought two tires previously. I spent $60 on a pair of used tires because I needed one but the guy had a pair of them that were matched so I bought both of them. And a lot of these used tire guys if they have a match set they don't want to tear them apart. Uh, they don't want to break the setup, and I get that. 
So I had about 60 bucks in tires. Uh, now, right after I bought the car, I gave about another 70 bucks to have the the takeoffs of the black and white. I had three of the four. I put them on this car with the exception of the driver's side front because that was the one that was scrubbing out. So I had to take it to a shop. Part of why I didn't want to put a whole lot of money into this car up front was with the way the accident happened, I wasn't sure the frame was bent. Yeah, sure, it was a lot of fun to play around with and drive, but the frame, the frame. So I wasn't going to spend a lot of money on the tires until I got an alignment. And I knew once I got an alignment done, that would tell me everything I needed to know. What was bent, what was not. And I tell you what, I got lucky. Uh, when we took it out to the alignment shop, it turned out that all it needed was a little bit of a caster adjustment. It was out. And uh, I think that just comes from running over. I think granddaughter ran over a parking block. Uh, so we got that fixed and with the alignment and all that tax out the door $98 or 96 like 96 78 I believe it was so not bad I mean steering wheel straight car goes perfectly straight down the road and nothing bent and you don't know how happy I was about that so as you see 500 bucks for the car 300 for the parts uh, all in all when all said and done even gas up to this point registration was well registration taxes and all that that was about two and a half well, I don't know about a hundred and a half uh, I got under a thousand I got under a thousand dollars in this uh, Got a good running car, it took some time. Uh, normally, you'll have a car with the correct paperwork, so it won't take you as long as it took me. But for under a thousand bucks, including the price of the car, I got a really good runner, you know? Are there still things that are broken? Yes. Uh, but mechanically, it's sound. It gets really good mileage. It doesn't miss a beat. It's got low mileage, low hours. Uh, goes down the road perfectly straight uh, and I, I can't beat it so that's what it took about a thousand bucks and if I'd had all the pieces and all that you could have actually from what I did a weekend it literally took one day to pull all the bent and broken stuff off and put the new stuff on now I have still have to realign the hood uh, but I put a new fender on and the radiator support still bent but it's doing everything it's supposed to and it's not bent that badly and I probably can just unbolt it shift it a little bit it needs to come over about maybe half an inch and we're golden so all that aside thousand bucks that's what it takes to have a good car car looks fine it'll get you to the next thing so that's uh, pretty much all I got with that I mean there wasn't a whole lot to this video it just what it cost me to get this thing going I've been very satisfied with it so I appreciate it uh, hopefully we're looking for our next build right now we're gonna be doing some smaller stuff and some on-the-road stuff and with winter coming I'm not sure what's gonna happen so we'll just play it by ear like we did last year because I work uh, it it's cold in the winter time so but hopefully here soon we'll have another project to start on and this one was fun and maybe we can do some more fun stuff so I appreciate it thanks for watching we'll see you next video